All right, on to Cincy. Sunday afternoon. We're in the uh, the thick of the Thursday Sunday stretch now. Um, Cincinnati up in Cincinnati. I don't like it. I don't want to go up there. I still don't feel, even though we won yesterday, I do not feel great about any road game. It doesn't matter who it is. Like when we go down to Tampa and play South Florida, I'm not going to feel good about it. We go to Tulsa, even though they may be the worst basketball team we're playing this year, I'm not going to feel good about it because I still have the 40 point loss in my mouth. Uh, since he's 71 in Kim Palm and their cusp, this 85th in the net. So if they could, let's get the win Sunday. And then since he, you guys, you know, Landers, if you're listening, we know that you are. You guys go on a little bit of a – West Miller, go on a little bit of a streak there and get to that top 75. Maybe we could sneak this in as a quad one. I mean, it wouldn't take much. If they mm. if they pulled off an upset against a, a Houston, they would jump in there. That's probably not possible or likely. I'm just saying, you know, they go on a little bit of a win streak. They could jump 10 spots. Yeah, that's, that's actually probably true. I would say – you know, I, I kind of we talked about it briefly that Cincinnati and Tulane and Memphis are all really kind of fighting for that number three spot right now. I think technically UCF is number two and Houston, obviously, clearly number one there. So a win versus Cincinnati, obviously, it's huge because any win I mean, you just at this point. Yeah, at this point, you want to be two or three. Being fourth means you place Houston – in the semis, which you don't really want. You want to avoid them as long as possible. So, yeah, I mean, you got it. This is definitely a game that's going to help. You already dropped Tulane and dropped UCF for the other two teams that were um, ahead of you. So, like, it's big. Yeah. If you go up to Cincinnati and you can pull one out. Uh, Kim Palm has it as, I think, a two-point or one-point Memphis win. 75 74 51 percent chance i don't like that i mean that's just a back and forth i already feel it there's gonna be a game tying shot made by cincy late I can already sense it and then they play houston right after they play us so hey let's beat them and then bearcats go get that houston dub and make us a quad one win for us that'd be great shout um, out to landers oh <laughs> Freaking 44% from three. Which is very impressive given how he started the year. Yeah. And, well, yeah, and he's taken six a game. So he's just gotten hot for a while there. There was their first, I don't know, four or five games, he was like shooting That's 20% nice. or below from three. Um, I mean, a pretty even matchup, though. Um. They got a top 50. They're 55th defensively. We're sitting at 63 offensively, so a good matchup on that side of the ball. And then their offense, uh, 89th to our 33rd ranked defense. They don't turn the ball over a lot. Um, They are not good at getting to the free throw line, so that's good, although we will probably send them to the free throw line 20-plus times. (laughs) Um, They shoot it well from three. You just mentioned Landers, so, I mean – Definitely a game where uh feels like he and Davenport could light us up potentially. Um, but again, we've we've done pretty well about keeping guys in check that you should keep in check. It's just everybody else that you say, hey, beat us. And recently they have been beating us. Um mm-hmm. they don't shoot it great from free throw line. So even if you you're fouling a little bit, hopefully they don't come out and shoot. 90% like some of these other teams have the last couple of games. But um, a pretty big opportunity on the road, and like we said, just from a standpoint of trying to finish second or third, potentially first if you can knock Houston off twice. I don't know. Yeah, It happened last year. I don't have a, a crystal ball to tell you if it's going to again, but uh, this is a big one on the road. You got to pull it out. Got to keep winning it. You got to win all your home games, and you got to you got to get some of these on the road here. What are you feeling about Cincy? 
well, I was waiting on you to say, you know, they don't shoot the ball well from three. They're they're not a great rebounding team. We should beat these guys. No, they shoot it well that. from three. They do shoot it well from three. Yeah, thirty six percent as a team. They just don't shoot it well from the free throw line. Uh, rebounding wise, they rebound it decently well. Yeah, so they do. Too. Yeah, I mean, thirty two percent of the Yeah, so no, he is, isn't he? Well, I think he's like right at it. I don't know, yeah. but that I mean that's definitely a problem for us size wise. I mean, even if Malcolm's there, I mean you're working. Who's the tallest guy on our team? Yeah, he's, he's six eleven, I guess. Lakin. I mean, everyone's six nine. Chandler's got a like God, a seven foot eight. I kind of forgot, man, but I could I'd forgotten that he was on their team. I don't know who's defending him. Yeah, I, mean, I, I guess it's DeAndre. I, that's the one thing that worries me. Well, well, that means DeAndre. I mean, that in its own him. right. Yeah, that in its own right is is, uh, I don't want to say alarming because DeAndre when he's on he's he's on like he's good but it, there's just such a size mismatch right like DeAndre is having to play the center yeah. you can kind of get away with that in college to an extent but there's just such a size mismatch you know he's going to reach you just I'm worried about that essentially yeah. so that's just something I would keep an eye on. So Landers and Julius lead them in points wise, and then Lakin. I mean, they got four guys that score it pretty well. Five really that are. I mean, they basically got five guys that score double digits. Um, which are the five that play the majority of the minutes. They really aren't that deep. I mean, it's going to be really five guys you see the most of. But uh, fun fact. 6'11", Victor Lakin is shooting 100% on the year from three. I'm Two assuming attempts. that's just, I'm assuming it's one of one. I'm trying to find it real quick. Yeah. I'm not too worried about that. If he's away from the rim, that's great for me. Let him take all the threes he wants. I don't care. Yeah. It's the it's him being a foot away, you know? Yeah, he's one of one on the year. So I'm curious Which means what... Which means he will be like three of three on Sunday, guaranteed. He's taking one, the one three all year. The matchups, yeah. With with Nolly, like who's going to? Man, I think you put lo- uh, Elijah on him. I think so too. Another big body guy. Landers isn't big. Kind of switch out him and, and Keontae. Um, KD's obviously probably going to have Julius. I would assume. I mean, and he's just six. Just size he's going to have, you know, an inch or two on him. But um, Davenport, I don't know. I mean, that feels like uh, Demaria. I don't know. But then you got <laughs> it's a pretty big size advantage. Maybe you yeah. put Keontae and Elijah out there at the same time, I guess, to take on Landers and Davenport. J Law. J Law seems to have been. I mean, when he's out there, I'm just saying, like he's gonna have to defend somebody. I would, I would love for Jonathan to figure that on defense, and I don't mean become Lester, right? I don't it's even. Just sometimes I would just he gets for so lost. Team in general to figure it out on defense because they yeah. are not playing defensively like they were outside of the St. Louis game. I mean, the first. 10 games of the year, probably. I went and looked it up. They they were still allowing a lot, like a decent amount of points. They just kind of went hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. They never – Yeah, I mean, they would have – there were games where they looked really locked in and good defensively, and then there were games it was just like, yeah, we can't stop anything. Yeah. Um, Freaking 90 points to St. Louis. Yeah, gosh, and they have – St. Louis has fallen the head. They were supposed to be – Top of the A10 lock for the tourney, and I don't even know that they're 92nd. I mean, at this point, I don't think that they're making a tournament with that attitude unless they unless they win the A10 tournament. Um, all right, you feel you feeling two dubs this week? You said dub against state. What do you feel about Cincy? I yeah, it would be a great, great week to go to and out. Yeah, I would Especially love to be back here next had. Monday night talking to you, and we went two and zero. Yeah, I'm going to say they split, and it's mostly because I am worried about 
the not the Wichita State game. I, I think we sh- we have enough talent to win that one. I think it'll be close, but if you got KD, I think KD is definitely the equalizer there. It's more of the size mismatch that I'm worried about with Cincinnati. If, it's just a matchup problem, all in all. Like um, especially with how poorly you've been rebounding the basketball. Exactly. Exactly. And you, you don't have many guys like you know. I guess if you want a pro or a silver lining on anything, Penny is finally short in the rotation to eight guys. That's great. Um, granted, that's because we kind of have to. You only have eight guys because there's eight but, available. Uh, yeah. So I I, I think that. Big man is not somewhere where you have a lot of body lay, laying around. Yeah. So it's just – it's going to be tough there, and I think they're going to try to get us in foul trouble. And if you lose DeAndre early and you have to just go with Chandler and KO, you just – you're you're putting yourself in a tough situation. Yeah. Um, But, hey, here you are. You got an opportunity. Your toughest game in this stretch before you get to Houston is obviously Sunday against Cincinnati. Every other game, I'm not saying should be guaranteed to win, but you will be favored. Yeah. Um, Outside of Sunday could be like a pick em type of game. But with yesterday's win, I mean, you got a chance of going reeling off nine straight right here heading into the Houston game. Which would be a good little win streak as you uh, get into into the middle of February. 